The pyramids and sphinx of Giza were built before the great flood of Noah, scientists explain. The pyramids and the sphinx of Giza, probably thousands of years older than mainstream archaeologists say they are. In fact, these ancient structures could date back to the civilization of ancient Egypt by thousands of years. Many researchers suggest that there is enough evidence to show that the Giza Plateau was severely damaged in the past given the evidence found on the Giza Plateau. The Sphinx and the Pyramids could be some of the megalithic structures that survived the deluge, the Great Flood of the Old Testament. Researchers say that the Sphinx and the Great Pyramid of Giza have water erosion. Much has been said about the Great Pyramid of Giza and the mysterious Sphinx of Giza. Although absolutely no clue has been given as to when the Great Pyramid of Giza and the Sphinx were built, many theories have been proposed that attempt to explain these two mysterious structures. While there are many unanswered questions about the Great Pyramid of Giza, we are still intrigued by the complexity and precision of these ancient incredible structures thousands of years after they were created, said Ivan Petrichevic. Today, there are more questions and answers about the Great Pyramid of Giza. How is it possible that thousands of years ago, people managed to transport huge stones and incorporate them into the creation of one of the most enigmatic ancient structures on Earth? But perhaps the far greatest mystery is how ancient mankind managed to align the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the most precisely aligned structure on the planet, the position of the North Pole is exactly aligned with the pyramid. On the other hand, the Great Pyramid is located in the center of the Earth, which crosses most of the Earth and the meridian. However, all of the above are not as impressive as the traces of water erosion found on the Giza Plateau. Apparently, the entire landscape of Giza, including the pyramid and the Sphinx, shows signs of erosion, which suggests that in the distant past, these structures were submerged underwater. Dr. Robert M. Soch was one of the first researchers to state that the plateau structures are much older than we thought. In the early 1990s, Dr. Soch suggested that the Sphinx was built thousands of years earlier than archaeologists believed, dating back to 5,000 to 9,000 BC. His proposal, this proposal is based on the pattern of water erosion found in the monuments and the surrounding rocks. However, Dr. Robert Sosch is not alone in pointing to evidence that these ancient structures were once submerged. Archaeologist Sharif El Morsi says that the Giza Plateau was once flooded. He said to his surprise that on the surface of the pyramid blocks was found a fossil that appears to be an urchin. They say sea, they are sea creatures that live in relatively, relatively shallow water. And he believes that the flood had a maximum height of about 75 meters, that's about what, 240 feet, above the current level. So that's pretty high. Morsi also suggests that there is evidence on the mount monuments and the surrounding blocks that show the presence of tsunamis in the past. The mystery of the Great Sphinx? Two Ukrainian scientists, Manichev and Pakomenko, who presented their study at the International Congress of Archaeology held in Sofia, Bulgaria, entitled Geological Point of View, the Problem of Dating the Construction of the Great Sphinx, shows that the Great Sphinx of Giza is hundreds of thousands of years older and presents clear signs of water erosion. According to them, the problem with the construction of the Great Egyptian Sphinx remains unknown despite long-term research. The geological approach in relation to other physical scientific methods allows us to answer the question about the age of the Sphinx at approximate. The visual research of the Sphinx also concluded the role of water, large amounts of water that partially flooded the monument, and its vertical walls were cut by the waves. They say that the Sphinx was submerged for a long time underwater. Researchers estimate that in the last 140,000 years, sea levels have fluctuated by 120 meters. That's about 360 feet in different parts of the world. Robert Ballard, one of the most famous archaeologists who in 1985, using a robotic submarine with remote control, had found his famous shipwreck, the Titanic. 
and ancient in the depths of the Black Sea near the shores of present-day Turkey, there are many structures of ancient civilizations dating back to the time of Noah, which shows that the great biblical flood mentioned in the ancient Sumerian text was real. Ballard also established not a chronological order of events based on the shells found along the old coastline. Ballard estimates that around 5000 BC, the catastrophic flood occurred, a date that many scholars believe is the date of Noah's historical flood. The story of the great flood sent by God or the gods according to earlier texts that were stolen uh, to destroy humanity for its sins is a generalized story from many religions and cultures throughout the world, from India to ancient Greece, Mesopotamia, and even from North American tribes, all of which describe the same story. Some of these descriptions seem so similar that one wonders if all the cultures on the planet at that time had experienced such an event. Could all the flood stories around the world be a collection of myths or isolated incidents? As the archaeological community who tend to uh, say that myths are deviated from official archaeological claims. Was a great flood, a global flood that affected the entire earth? Probably was. So based on the above, it's not difficult that the pyramids of the Great Sphinx and the Great Sphinx were built before the flood, a very ancient civilization which was even older than the oldest Egyptian records. Perhaps they were even built before Egypt became a desert and even before the beginning of man as we know and perhaps by the civilizations of other worlds. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.